keep your engine purring for longer than anything else on the market. To reduce engine complaints and to cut down this on expenses, they're... Dogs. What happened to your door? Christ only knows. last night. Nah, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was raising hell. Slumped over in a hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh God, I was, I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ! I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. You want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll uh, see you soon. And uh, thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, Tom. You know that. I'm gonna call the cops. Something ain't right. Someone said it could have been gunshots. I wish you part now on the latest political developments in Europe. With the annexation of Austria, and with many predicting that Czechoslovakia's Sudetenland will be next, Adolf Hitler has shown Europe that he is now calling the shots. Despite the restrictions placed on Germany by the Treaty of Versailles, neither France nor Great Britain have done much to stand in Hitler's way up to this point. It had been hoped that the policy of appeasement toward his territorial ambitions would create a more prolonged peace in Europe, but it seems increasingly likely that this course of action will result in new conflict. Should Europe once again descend into the chaos of war, what stance should the United States take? Many would still say European problems are European problems, but the deteriorating situation... and the worrying possible outcomes for the world now seem difficult for us to ignore. 
Isolation versus intervention. That is the choice facing America. Which we will decide will be known in time. Thank you for listening. And now... Don't move, Tommy. Shit. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam, but I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Polly's. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up, and I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on? You're the one that let her live. Sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy.
your shot! Go! Say goodnight, punk! Throw some flames! Throw in some fire! Cover! He's on me! Throw us a flight! You, Sam. I know you do the same, Tom. Hell, I know you've done the same. He's just getting serious, boys. Take him out. Guys, yet! Still not over, Tom! Salieri was ripping us off! Shoot! 
about drug money is it pays for a lot of muscle put them down boys Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> what a dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family? That little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me? You and Polly with you. sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box and stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, 
I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family, too. Wife. Four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's got to eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, I mean, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not going to make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive ain't exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Celieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. time ago, in another life, someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel, his greatest weakness. Maybe he was right, because everything I've done, both good and bad, I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone, trying to find myself so I could come home. A better husband. A better father. A better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over when we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! That's okay. You're safe now. 
you're all safe. Remember that money, jobs, even best pals will come and go. But family, family is forever.